and then this I think I matched it pretty darn well so let's do it with walls up hello everyone especially my 44 subscribers so today I am here with a interesting build challenge um, it definitely has been done before but I'm really excited to do it uh, as you saw in my most recent 2020, DJ and I are once again moving, hopefully for the last time between now and him finishing school. But I decided, um, there's a dog barking outside, Draco is going nuts over here, a lot of noise. I built our new apartment in The Sims, and I'm going to decorate it in my perfect style, the way that I would love to see it done. DJ is going to do the same, and then we are going to build one together. So, we're going to see sort of how our different uh, tastes are in apartments, because, you know, we more or less uh, just kind of got what we could get. <laughs> if that made, that was a terrible way of putting that. We more or less, like, had stuff that we accumulated that we used for our apartment. Granted, a lot of the stuff now is stuff that DJ had personally bought, but yeah, uh, hopefully this new apartment, since we are planning on having it be a little bit longer than normal, uh, we can make it a place that we really enjoy and that uh, shares both of our unique styles. So with that, let's play. All right, so down here I have three of the exact same builds. <laughs> Uh, one is the Todd and Copper new apartment, one's just Copper, and one is Todd and Copper builds. Wow. That should just say Todd's new apartment. But we're going to go into Copper. Alright, so this is pretty much what it looks like. Um, granted, it's going to be either a second or third story apartment. I think third. Uh, but yeah, it has all this stucco on the side of it. It has one window. Um... And then, obviously, this is connected to, like, other other units. Um, but we do get a nice balcony. Another window over here. The balcony has two uh, entryways into it, which is very nice. I would not be about that if we were getting, like, a ground or subterranean unit. But because we're getting it a little bit higher up, I feel a little bit more safe with that. But let's check out the floor plan. So I'm going to put up a side-by-side -side comparison of what the floor plan was that I worked with, and then this. I think I matched it pretty darn well, so let's do it with walls up. This is the apartment. Living room. And then it looks on into the, uh, this is supposed to be like the dining room area with, you know, one way out onto the balcony. We turn and head into our kitchen. Oops, I have to redo this wall. <laughs> but yes, um, so obviously I put these in. We can't change any of these. Uh, these are about as close as I could get. And then through the kitchen, we have... This door is actually where the washer-dryer units go. And then this door leads to... It leads to the... Uh, master bedroom which also has an entryway onto the balcony and it has its own little uh so this is supposed to be the closet for it it has its own little ensuite um kind of small but you know it's functional so we go back out um nice nice hardwood flooring and then this door right here is near the bathroom. Hooray. Oh, oh, but what's it connected to? It's connected to another room. This is obviously a closet. It's the same thing. <laughs> um, but yes, this is the room that we're going to utilize as... Uh, well, I mean, technically we're going to just utilize it as my room for right now because DJ and I are not, not cohabitating as a couple anymore. If you missed that, go check out my 2020. Um, but yes, so this one's going to end up being what is my room. It was originally just going to be an office. We might still decorate it just as an office, but uh, yeah. And it has the nice little window in it. And going out this door, we're back out into the hallway. 
and whoop, whoop, whoop. and from there we have another way into the living room so yay that is what we're working with so let's decorate all right so the first area that i wanted to work on in was uh the dining room uh this part of the apartment actually excites me probably more than just about anything well not anything else i'm really excited about my office but this part really excites me um because i have not actually had a dining room in an apartment before I, I mean, I've definitely had dining rooms before. I grew up, like, super privileged. I had a, in my childhood home, we had a full-on dining room, uh, as well as, like, a breakfast room. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so this will be the first apartment where I'm able to have this. And so I gave us, uh, like, a nice clear glass table, um, some blue chairs, and then I just, I love the little, uh, like, chalkboards of, you know, what's on the menu. And then the kitchen's pretty basic. Um, yeah, I don't do a whole lot of cooking, so I'm like, uh, throw up some wine, do a couple, uh, do a couple knives, a microwave, and call it good. Like, we have a fridge, we have an oven, can put stuff in, <laughs> in the uh, cabinets. Oh, okay, and then uh, for the hallway, I wanted to put down a runner. I wanted to see if it could go all the way across, and it just it didn't end up working out. And then the living room, I uh, want the TV above the uh, the fireplace. Wow, I cannot speak today. Which, by the way, TVs above fireplace, like, you have to be super careful. I learned that in an old apartment of mine is that, like, the TV can get really overheated um, if you don't have some sort of, like, buffer uh, to protect it from the heat. Like, if it wasn't pushed back enough, then it would, like, warp the screen. And then just some nice, like, blue couches, um, semi-modern, I don't know, part of me was thinking about doing, like, a chaise lounge one, and then I was like, no, I actually want two, two, uh, separate couches, like, a couch and a love seat, because I love rearranging things, um, and it's hard to do that with, like, a sectional or, like, a, like, an L chaise, um, I'm pretty much just putting down, like, the basics of what I need in these rooms, and then I'm going to come back later and actually do, like, better decorations. Because I'm pretty easy. Like, most of this is me kind of just... Ugh. Ugh. That bed. Yeah. It was a mistake to choose that bed. <laughs> I fixed that later. Um, but, yeah. Most of uh, what I'm doing right now is just putting down the basics. Because I realized that, like, I'm more excited just about having, like, sectional spaces um, or compartmentalized, like, a compartmentalized apartment, uh, because I've never had that before. I've always had pretty much apartments that are just, like, boxes, and that's it. Like, you had to just kind of make it work, uh, but, yeah. And I am doing just one bedroom in this one. I know that technically DJ and I are doing two bedrooms, but I'm like, if this is my perfect apartment, there's only one bedroom, and then that one, the other room, is my full-on office. Um, so yeah, now we're working on the office. This, this is the one that I was excited about. So I wanted a desk. I'm obviously not really going to paint the wall, but I want to set up a green screen um, behind my computer, behind my desk. That way I can uh, make my videos a little bit better, a little bit more interesting. Um, yeah. And then I just gave it sort of like this nice motif. I wanted to have like a little fountain because I used to have this nice little like fountain that I had to turn on. Um, and it was just really relaxing to just have it going, and unfortunately it corroded, so I no longer have it. Bathroom, like, I just hopped into the bathroom for two seconds uh, to decorate it, which was just putting down mats and a picture, because I don't really do anything in bathrooms either. Like, you know, I, I, I have never really decorated my bathrooms. I don't know why. I just don't. But yeah, so decorating the office and putting up a lot of artwork. Um, and a lot of this artwork that I'm selecting is, like, pretty... Uh, uh, it symbolizes other artwork that I have now. Like, I put up a bunch of kids' pictures because I want to put up my nephew's drawings for me and, you know, all that good stuff. And then the living room, I'm trying to put up, like, abstract artwork and then, like, locational artwork. Um, yeah. Yeah just to sort of make myself look more uh, cultured to people that come over. I want a bookshelf, obviously. 
Um, and then, yeah, I was filling the closets a little bit too. Uh, obviously, the one in the bedroom would be where I keep like all of my clothes and stuff. And then uh, the, uh, oh, yeah, I uh, started decorating the outside patio. And I'm like, I'm not good at decorating patios because... One, I'm pretty sure it's nowhere near this big. It's bigger than the one we have now, but I don't think it's, it's really going to be able to fit that much in it. Um, but I would love just some, like, lawn furniture. But, yeah. Oh, and then that that uh, shelf that I just put in the bedroom, like, that's uh, kind of to represent the shelf that DJ got me where I have, like, all of my little trinkets and treasures and stuff, and I wanted that to be still placed in the bedroom. But, uh, yeah. Oh, and then the... the uh, You'll see it again. I, I reshow all of the rooms. Um, but the uh, closet in the office is just like random bric a brac and stuff. So I think I just put a Christmas tree in there, which totally clips on both sides. But, you know, it, it won't in real life because it's in a box. It's not just freestanding. Yes, yeah, so just putting up the abstract artwork and all that good stuff, sort of just touching up, putting up just some like fruit pictures and junk. Uh, for the kitchen and fixing the walls and I think that's it so let's take a look inside so this is the living room very blue motif um, I utilized a lot of like glass tables and stuff I probably could use a little bit more light in this room because it's one of the only rooms that doesn't have an overhead light um, but yeah I you know have the uh, I have an area to put our Christmas tree I have uh, you know, books and both of the couches, and it's just it we can relax in. And then I have, once again, a glass table, nice little dining area, very, very simple, but still nice enough that you can just sit down, have a good meal, have a nice conversation. Kitchen, um, yeah, pretty much you have a bunch of room to, to cook or get things ready, and not quite as many appliances, which is fine with me. Put a little mirror in the, uh, in the hallway and a runner in the bedroom I have you know my little trinkets on a shelf I have inside tables I have a TV in the living in the bedroom as well um, it helps me fall asleep all my clothes and laundry in there uh, the nice little ensuite didn't really do anything except put down mats because that's honestly probably what all that I'm gonna do it's probably honestly all we're gonna do didn't do anything to the washer dryer <laughs> Um, same thing with this bathroom, just put up, like, a picture, which, who knows, I might, I might try and, and, you know, be a little different with the bathrooms, but who knows. And then my office, have a green screen, a, a lot of pictures of, like, games that I play, and places I want to go, and artwork, and, uh, you know, some of my own artwork, uh, pictures, those overlapping ones there, I actually have frames that are like that that have pictures of my nephews in them I want to I can't wait to hang that back up um have a nice little couch uh so I can just chill in there and watch tv too um yes the closet where I'm just gonna keep all of my random storage stuff like school stuff because there's a backpack in there the Christmas tree obviously <laughs> um have a couple plants and then back into the living room it's pretty much it. Yeah, I, I kept with, like, a nice, like, glass motif. Um, you know, a lot of blues, because blue is my favorite color. Uh, the office, very, very bright. Um, I feel like that's where I'm going to spend a good portion of my time. Uh, just trying to make, you know, make videos and <laughs> do uh, do stuff. I made it a place that I would, like, want to be. And then I can kind of more focus on having the bedroom be a place where I mostly just sleep. Um, yeah, could totally get into that more with, like, the Ariana Huffington book, if anybody's read that. Um, yeah, and just have the living room be a nice little sitting area. And bathrooms, pretty basic, pretty simple. Kitchen, pretty basic, pretty simple. <laughs> Dining room, basic, simple, just like everything else. Um, but yeah. It's, it's all styles that I like, stuff that I'm excited for. So this was my build. So you guys will hopefully be able to see DJ's build uh, either later this week or sometime next week. Uh, but if you made it this far in the video, go ahead and leave a like. 
comment below, tell me which room you thought was your favorite, um, or how you would think you would have changed some things if you think that I missed anything. I know that I definitely didn't put a single trash can in there, so gonna have problems come in trash day, but you know. Uh, yeah, subscribe if you're new to the channel, or if you're not new and just haven't subscribed yet, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!